Welcome to Baltimore, Maryland. It's my first time being here, and I'm here with a bunch of librarians. We're here for a conference to get lost under the stacks underneath the library, to explore Baltimore in general, and I'm going to bring you with me. I'm going to show you what I find. Okay, I'm staying at the Renaissance Bay Harbor Hotel, and of course, I've got to give you a tour because I love hotels. All right, so we're gonna start with the bed because the bed is the bed, and it's beautiful. It has a lovely headboard. I'm always looking for a headboard that has some interest to it. Uh, don't hit your head on it, however. We've got a, a lovely bed. It is comfortable, I did check. Um, I like the art here. Not uh, your typical floral arrangement. The bathroom is something a little special. I don't know what this fluff is on the wall, but I like the fluff. We are for the fluff. The bathroom uh, or the shower is nice and clean and uh, fancy. The room has a lovely view of, I'm gonna say downtown Baltimore. I don't know where we are in Baltimore, but excellent buildings, beautiful little clock over there. I don't know what that is, but awesome. Yeah, so cute little room. Um, not a ton to show you, but you know, cute little room that you'd wanna see while I'm here in Baltimore. I'm on the 10th floor and there's a little window can't jump out. It won't let you. My hand can jump out, but that's it. No suicides in the hotel. But you could have the little bit of fresh air if you want. On some travel channels, they give you tips and tricks on how to like pack and packing cubes and 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 they show you like their bag and they're like look how organized it is you too can travel as amazingly as I can you want to know why I don't do that because I don't do it well I, I travel I make it there but I definitely forget things and I definitely do things wrong um, exhibit a I packed my brown boots and I was like one pair of brown boots will be fine for Baltimore brown boot a Okay, all right, brown boot, fine. Brown boot B, a what? A different, a buckle? What, why would only one boot have a buckle? That would be because they are different brown boots. So I only have one different pair of shoes to wear the entire time. They don't go with my outfit. And uh, that's just how my life is gonna be while I'm here. Don't do what I do. Check your shoes to make sure they match. Tip number 432, you're welcome. There's a dog in the window across the way and it makes me miss my doggy. Hi doggy. I miss you. So I'm in Baltimore, Maryland. I've never been to Maryland before. This is my first time. My first time, clearly, in Baltimore. Uh, first impressions, brick. That's the thing about the East Coast. California cannot do brick because of the earthquakes. We've had several earthquakes just recently. Uh, nothing too 
shaky. Uh, that's just normal for California, but we cannot do brick for that reason. Lots of brick here in Baltimore. I'm here for a librarian's conference, so I'll be doing that for most of the time, but I'm going to look around a little bit and see what there is to see and show you as well. Looks like they have a water taxi here. We are right on the harbor. I'm always a fan of being near the water. It's really foggy around here right now, but in this water, I, I swear I can see little jellyfish. Which, I mean, do they have tiny jellyfish here? I mean, I guess they do here. Tiny jellyfish. I'm fairly positive they are not just plastic. There's a bunch of them. Here we have a science center with some music. I'm not going in, but yay science. Here we have a flock of birds. Birding. I shall, I shall onward. Okay, important information. As Roman Mars says, always read the plaque. I have found a plaque. It's very colorful. What I have found out, it's talking about water conservation and making it better and all that kind of stuff. That's good to know. But the most important part is that I know what this water is called now. It is the Chesapeake Bay. I've heard of that before. That is a type of bay that is in my knowledge base. Uh, but I know where I am. You can put a point on a map. I am there. This downtown area of Baltimore has won me over. First of all, I've seen so many dogs. Second of all, it's got boats. Third of all, it's got water, hence the boats. Fourth of all, it's got like a bunch of cool stuff all around the water. Fifth of all, I'm just gonna keep naming a thousand things until I tell you, I have found a swing, a bench swing, and I may never leave. I can look at the boats. I mean, that's not a good sound. But uh, I can look at the boats while swinging, and um, I really just feel like other cities need to pay attention to this kind of uh, fun having an architecture. I just passed an amazing park that had cool, fun things to do in it. Parks should not just be for sitting. They should also be for enjoying and doing fun things. And swings. I think these uh, leaves are what they talk about the East Coast turning all fire-like as the fall approaches. We're not quite there, or maybe we're past it, because some of them are all gone. But they're pretty. Fish and chips and beer on the ocean.
in a twist And I boss like communist No, I can never ever get back all the things I missed But I'm that man, they think you got the gist Got your tulips in a twist And I boss like communist No, I can never ever get back all the things I missed I had to put a code in here for the secret speakeasy I'm about to go to. Secret. Sixth floor. Clock restoration. One of the nights, the librarians all were invited to the Enoch Pratt Library for a night of appetizers and fun and music and best of all, a tour of this amazing library. It was gorgeous. I mean, we were looking at the ceilings, the tiles. We were told what each historical you know part of it meant the columns were amazing we were just drooling As you can see, I could not keep my eyes down. I was looking at the railings. I was looking at the ceiling. I was looking at the murals that were there, the fountain. I mean, it honestly puts my library in portables to shame. And then we were taken here to the stacks where no public is allowed to be. This is underneath the library where all of the older uh, books are kept, the ones that need fixing. It was amazing. Maybe take it to the uh, take it to the front desk. The next day. I did something that I often do when my husband's not around, and that is to go back to the same place I already ate. Sorry, guys. I don't know what that is. It looks like a lot of furniture, but it's cool. Is this their pigeons? Are these Baltimore pigeons? I thought they had ravens here in Baltimore, but no. Strange brown birds. Okay, so it's practically my job to go to different places so I can show you. But I came back to the Irish bar because the shepherd's pie. 
I needed something hearty. I didn't eat a lot last night. It was like appetizers. And that's all I ate. So, sure was five. choice and sorry for the lack of variety but I needed to eat a shepherd's pie not being able to actually do because I was there for, you know, a work event. So I wish I had been able to go see Edgar Allan Poe's grave. And he was like... To make sure he's still dead. To make sure he's still dead. And I was like, um, yes. Yep. Um, also, I heard, like, somebody used to put something on his grave every year, maybe on his birthday or something. And I wonder if they ever figured out who did that. There's a lot of mysteries in Baltimore, which I think is really cool. Um, the other thing I would have done is go on a helicopter ride. I saw that on, on like TripAdvisor. That would have been really cool. And then also they had uh, bay cruisers that you could do like a dinner cruise with. But I was not going to do that by myself. That would have been weird. So, things I will do next time I go to Baltimore because there will be a next time. I mean, I'll just go down, cross over to DC. Look at history while it still exists. Oh, well, DC has cool stuff to look at. I've been there. I just had never been to Baltimore or Maryland. And now I've been to. Oh, by the way, I have learned from a local that is Baltimore. Baltimore? Baltimore. There's Baltimore. no T, it's silent. Baltimore. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? No, I was told that directly. I asked, and he told me. Oh, well, okay. I've been in Baltimore with local Baltimore. Like, Craig and Bees, my friend, he's from Baltimore. He's, he says, he definitely says Baltimore. He probably just says it for you because he's code switching. <laughs> okay. All right. Baltimoreans, Baltimoreans, do you code switch? And, and when you're around other people, say Baltimore just so they understand. We want to know. And thank you for allowing me into your city for a couple nights. All right, next on leave today, Portland. Portland? Where, why, where, where's Portland? What, we're going to Portland? We're going to Portland. <laughs> Meanwhile, it looks like we're somewhere I'm not supposed to be. What's new? Hola, 
Are you jeweling, child? Are you jeweling? <laughs>